All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the first meeting of a committee on land use, uh, the 11th session of the City Council. I am uh, Council Member Rafael Salamanca, Chair of this committee. I want to welcome my esteemed colleagues who are members of this committee. Um, I want to welcome, we have uh, Council Member Constantinides, Council Member Deutsch, Con uh, Chair Kalos, Council Member King, Council Member Lansman, Council Member Richards, Council Member Traeger, Council Member Gredenchik, Chair Adams, Council Member Diaz, and Chair Moya. I want to thank Chair Moya, Chair Adams, and Chair Kalos for their work on our land use subcommittees. Today we'll be voting on five applications. We'll be voting to approve LU2, the Brown Sugar Bar and Restaurant Sidewalk Cafe application. This application is for a re recoverable consent to maintain and operate an undisclosed sidewalk cafe at 5060 Broadway in Councilmember Rodriguez District in Manhattan. We will be voting to recommend approval LU3, the Bedford Avenue commercial overlay application. This application would establish a C1-4 commercial overlay district within an existing R6A district. The new commercial overlay would apply to the western side of Bedford Avenue between North 10 and North 11th Street in Councilmember uh, Levine's district in Brooklyn. I'm sorry, Councilmember Levin's district in Brooklyn. We will be voting to approve with modifications LUs 4 and 5, the Bergen Street rezoning in Councilmember Cumble's district in Brooklyn. This application consists of a change in zoning district from M1-1 district to an R6B district for the development site, fronting on Bergen Street to the West Carlton Avenue and for several other properties fronting on Dean Street. The related text amendment application would apply to the mandatory inclusionary housing program to the area. On the development site, the rezoning will facilitate a new 26-unit residential building. The modification is to eliminate the MIH Option 2, requiring the development to utilize MIH Option 1. This will ensure that MIH units will be available to lower-income residents. We will be voting to approve LU11, the Fort Washington Avenue cluster application in Councilmember Levine's district in Manhattan. HPD seeks approval of an Urban Development Action Area Project, UDAP, designation, disposition, and project approval pursuant to Article 16 of the General Municipal Law and a 40-year property tax exemption pursuant to Article 11 of the Private Housing Finance Law. These actions will facilitate and rehabilitate and disposition for four city uh, uh, own occupied residential buildings, totaling 94 units to the existing tenants. We are also voting to file LU1, the Tupintino Sidewalk Cafe application. This application was withdrawn after the Department of Parks and Recreation determined the cafe will be located on the area that Parks maintains and manages and which is intended to reconstruct. Uh, with that, I will take any questions or remarks from members in the committee. All right, so I will now call a vote in accordance with the recommendation of the subcommittees and with the support of the local members to approve LUs 2, 3, and 11. To approve the modifications, I have described LU 4 and 5 and to file LU 1. Will the clerk please call the roll? William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on land use. Chair Salamanca. Aye on all. Constantinides. Aye on all. Deutsch. Kalos. Aye on all. King. Aye on all. Ku. Aye on all. Lanceman. Aye. Richards. Aye. Traeger. Aye. Gordenchuk. Aye. Adams. Aye on all. Diaz. Moya. Aye on all. By a vote of 13 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, all items are adopted. All right. I Okay, I would like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues, council, and land staff for attending today's hearing. I will leave the roll open for 15 minutes. Thank you. <laughs> 